everyone, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to episode three of the Rose Generation of the Not So Berry Challenge. We had a lot, and I mean a lot, happen last episode. Phoenix graduated from university. She now has her distinguished degree in history, which got her bumped up to level seven. So she is now a council person in the politician career, which is great for Phoenix. We love that. And she got a big fat signing bonus. And on top of that, while she was in university, my girl won the lottery. So she is in a great place right now. She ended up having our yellow Jen, our sweet Dory, who is currently still a baby and will be aging up into a toddler this episode. And while all that amazing stuff was happening to Phoenix, while she had those rose colored glasses on, she ran over to Theo, her baby daddy, got down on one knee and asked for his hand in marriage. So my girl is engaged. So we have some plans for this episode. The first thing I want to do is I want to have Phoenix actually meet all of her nieces and nephews because I want them all to come to the wedding, which will be happening this episode, guys. We're going to have a bride. Oh my God. Even though she can't technically go through with the wedding, I'm very excited to make my sweet girl a bride for the first time. But I want to have her meet all of her nieces and nephews and I want Dory to meet all of her cousins. I know Dory is not meant to have a lot of close relationships. Dory is meant to be more of a loner, but I still want Phoenix to have relationships with her nieces and her nephews. Let's hit play and let's get into the game here. Phoenix is just hanging out rocking on her rocking chair. Let's take a look at what she has to do for her job here. She needs to secure five votes. Okay. And we're also going to have her pick a cause because she needs to do that for her job. And I think that because she won the lottery, I think she's going to go for choose simoleons for everyone. That will be what we rock with for that. All right. So she has chosen that cause to support and now she needs to secure five votes. So maybe we'll see if we can get Elliot to vote for us here. I don't think he will. I think he knows that we're a bit shady. What do you say, Elliot? Oh, no. He is not about it, you guys. He is not about it. I did want to show you guys that I did make Minzy a little minty room. It's nothing big, but it's just a place, you know, where she can sleep. Just a cute little minty moment for my sweet Minzy baby. So I think when Dory wakes up, I'm going to have Minzy kind of bond with her a little bit. They actually have a pretty good good relationship bar right now. So that's great. So while Phoenix's needs are looking pretty good, I think I'm going to have her go out and sort of promote her policies to people over here. Maybe we'll have her come down and protest. Oh, look at her changing her clothes. Let them know, Phoenix. Let them know, girl. Do you guys like money? Vote for me if you like money. She's starting to get a little bit sleepy, but that's okay. She is feeling like super flirty from that protest. Girl, nothing gets your juices flowing like a good protest. You know what I mean? Everyone is just standing around. Why why don't you come over here, girl? And we can promote our policies to all these people here. Oh, it's because there's a celebrity. Everyone is just standing here like zombies. It's very weird. She's out here doing work. My little grinder. Let's try to secure them votes, girl. So Phoenix has secured a vote. She does have to pee, though. I'm going to send her home. She needs to pee and she needs to sleep. She did good. She did good. My little Dory is crying. So I'm going to have Minzy come and change the dirty diaper. Oh, Minzy is on it. Minzy just a natural. I'm not ready for her to pass, you guys. But a sweet angel. Oh, she loves her grandbaby. Oh, Minzy. Oh, it kills me. Minzy was just meant to have kids, you know? She is such a great mama. She's given lots of lovings to her, Dory. She just loves her grandbaby so much. Oh my goodness. And Dory is about it. Elliot's just having a nice soak. Elliot's kind of hot, you guys. Like, do you not agree? Phoenix is off to work, you guys. She is so tired. Have a good day phoenix be good dory how you doing girl when do you age up oh, it's your birthday today dory okay all right minzy off you go our days of following you to the lab are over all right bye my sciencey queen have a great day at work i love you it's just elliot and dory they're gonna hang out phoenix has been deftly navigating her way through the political beltway when an unexpected wrench is thrown into her plans the governor's running mate became entangled in a sordid affair and was forced to drop off the ticket in their 
their stead, the governor has reached out and offered Phoenix the position, reaffirming the belief that she's a rising star in the political scene. Is Phoenix ready for a position that demands this level of public exposure? Yes. Join the campaign, girl. Oh, damn. She's a notable newcomer. Okay. Great job, Phoenix. Elliot, are you going to change this baby? Oh my god, it's almost Minzy's time. Make the most of these final days. <gasps> no. No. Phoenix is home from work and she is going to go ahead and change Dirty Dory's bum. I am going to go ahead and age my girl up. It is her birthday today because we got to get Minzy a little bestie. You know what I mean? So Generation Yellow needs to be clumsy, ambitious, and a loner. So let me see what I can get here. I think I'm going to make her inquisitive to start. That makes the most sense to me. She has a lot of CC on that shouldn't be on, but that's okay. We'll take care of you, Dory. Okay, guys, I'd like to introduce you to Miss Dory Berry, the toddler version. Look how precious she is with those pretty golden eyes and that golden hair. I wanted to keep a little bit of Phoenix's jeans strong, so she got Phoenix's freckles and Phoenix's wavy hair, and look how cute she is. Ugh, I love her. Okay, I'm going to take you guys through her outfits real quick. I did give her a bunch. Of course, I go crazy in the cast, guys. You know me. You know me. Starting with her every day one, every day two, every day three, every day four. Oh my god, I love this one. She's so cute. And every day five. Moving into her formal, I did only give her one dress because we really are only going to see her at her mom's wedding. PJ one, PJ two, PJ three, and PJ four. For party wear, I only gave her one outfit. And this is it here. So cute. Swimwear, I gave her two swimsuits. This is swimsuit one and swimsuit two. Hot weather, she got five outfits. Here's hot Hot weather one, hot weather two, hot weather three, hot weather four, and hot weather five. Cold weather, she got three. So here's cold weather one, cold weather two, and cold weather three. And that is my sweet Dory all done. And here's a quick look at her updated room, you guys. I gave her a crib and I gave her a little wabbit tablet and a toy box. And she is autonomously just going to that toy box. And since it is Minzy's time almost, I'm gonna have Minzy bond with her little baby. I'm gonna have her go watch Dory play. Minzy is a little bit tired, but I do want them to kind of get their friendship up a little bit. They are just gonna hang out and talk. Okay, Minzy just became good friends with Dory. Okay, guys, we did it. We did it. Okay, Minzy, you did good, honey. Why don't you go get some sleep? We gotta take care of you, girl. Dory is just playing in the rocking chair. Like, look at her. Oh my god. How cute. I love her. Go off, girl. Go off, little queen. Dory is very tired. So I am going to have Phoenix get up and put her to bed. Go read Dory to sleep, Phoenix. Dory's having a little snooze in the chair while she waits for her mom to wake up. And apparently it's too noisy for the baby to sleep right now. She is really mad about these noisy neighbors. She's going to go pound at that door. Excuse me. Okay, talk your shit, Phoenix. Complain angrily about the noise. Can you keep it down, please? Give it to her. Give it to her. I'm sorry, you're right. That's what I thought. Thank you. Little lady is going in her crib. I had to move stuff around, guys. My frame rate is abysmal when I get out of build mode because I have so much CC, but it'll stabilize in a second. Good night, Dory. Look at Phoenix actually spending time with Dory. How cute. All right, Dory. Good night, sweet girl. Phoenix, you got to eat something. She is very hungry. I'm going to have her get Elliot to make some food. Every time I ask Elliot to cook something, he slams the door of that fridge so hard. He is mad. Elliot made us rum balls. You know what? That's great. Go ahead and grab some. Oh my God. Phoenix is getting call that Kenji has passed away. <gasps> Oh no, that was her high school boyfriend, you guys, that she stole from Ivy. Oh, Kenji. I guess we're gonna start seeing a lot of deaths now that we're kind of into the story quite a bit. Phoenix really needs to sleep, you guys. Does she have work today? Yeah, she has work in five hours. So I'm gonna have her grab some sleep. Oh, Phoenix got the emotion bomb quirk. Oh no, I hate that one. 
No. Minzy, how you looking, girl? I'm going to have you go to bed. It is 4 a.m., honey, so go get some sleep. Dory is getting hungry. I'm going to have her ask Elliot to feed her when she wakes up. There is a vampire coming in my house. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Now is not the time. Excuse me? Who are you? Who are you? Seriously? No, I got to go to work. Lady. Lady, I got to go to work. You can't be doing this to me right now. Lady. Oh, God. Good lord. This is beyond rude. This is beyond rude. It's a work night. <sighs> How long is this drink gonna last? Jesus, Badish. Get the hell out of here. You and that backpack. So inconsiderate. Dory is having a rum ball. She is in a very good place right now. She's very happy. Phoenix is up. She's wondering what the hell is going on here. She's pretty hungry and she needs a shower. And then I'm gonna have Dory come play with some toys. We'll have her ask what's that, get her thinking up, and then we'll have her play with uh, a butterfly here. Phoenix, you have to go to work, girl. She is feeling sad and not in a great place. Oh my goodness. Dory is having a great time. My girl is on her way to work, freshly bitten from a vampire, not in the best place. I love that she just works hard by default. That's my sweet girl. So Minzy's gonna hang out with Dory. They're gonna do some pre-work bonding. And then I think I might have Minzy actually potty train Dory. Minzy starts work in an hour, but you know what? I think I'm gonna have Minzy retire. I think that she's just about contributed all that she can contribute to the scientific community. I think it's time that she call it in, you know? Are we sure that she should retire? Yes, she deserves it. She'll receive a pension check every day okay so i'm gonna have grandma minzy potty train sweet little dory she is such an encouraging queen good job dory minzy does need to have a little bit of fun and she does need to eat but i'm gonna have her take care of the little babe first and then i'm gonna get minzy to change dory's bum i know she just potty she doesn't need a diaper change but you know what just for the sake of their bonding because it's cute okay all oh, the animation i I love it. Good job, Dory. Nice fruish butt for you, girl. And then Minzy, why don't you come serve some food? You are such a great cook. Why don't you cook a grand meal for everybody? Tofurky because you're a veggie queen. Minzy still has the moves and everything, you know? She never lost it. Ivy's coming over to visit, which we absolutely love. She's like, I smell mom's cooking. I'm going over. Dory is crying. What's up, Dory? She's sad because she's all alone. Girl, your whole family is here. Is it because mom's gone oh dory why don't you talk to auntie ivy show auntie your toy my little girly needs a nap minzy why don't you call everyone to the grand meal and you can put dory to bed okay phoenix is home she is exhausted but i'm gonna have her come grab a serving of mama's cooking grandma's gonna put little dory to sleep minzy a total angel phoenix has also passed out minzy and dory got a sentiment which i love minzy how are your needs girl you look really great phoenix you really need to go to sleep my angel but you're gonna go talk to mama oh you're gonna look at the birth certificate that's so cute she's like yeah i made that i made that elliot is vacuuming i love that Okay, Phoenix, go to sleep. And while you are sleeping, girl, I'm going to plan their wedding because Minzy doesn't have much time left. I'm going to cancel Harvest Fest just because I really don't want Minzy to die, okay? Normally, I wouldn't do that, but I, I think I really have to. So uh, let's go ahead and plan this here. So let's invite our guests. We can edit this after as well because I kind of want Phoenix to invite like her nieces and nephews if possible. Wait, why is Ivy's last name different? Did she get married? Okay, I'm gonna have to investigate that. But okay, for now, we'll just do that. We want a spousal kiss, first dance. Well, nothing really because <laughs> we don't really want any of this actually because we're not going through with the wedding. But okay, let's edit their outfits here. And I want a polished red dress code. And I gotta give my sweet girl a dress. And I think I know which one I wanna give her, but let's see. Oh yeah, I think it's this one. Oh, it just looks so beautiful on her. It's such a Phoenix dress, but I do wanna give her an updo and change a little bit of her makeup. Oh, she looks so pretty. I don't know if that's the right hair though. I'm gonna keep 
I'm going to keep looking. Oh, how good does she look in this white dress though? This was her mom's wedding dress. Oh, this was her mama's dress. This one right here. Oh, gives me the feels. But I feel like Phoenix would have something very, very bougie. That's just the way Phoenix is. We have this little moment too, which is kind of pretty. This one is really nice too. I really like this one. We could do this little moment. Oh my gosh, it looks like a princess. Oh, I kind of love this one. I think I got to do it, guys. I think I have to go with this one. It is just so beautiful and she looks gorgeous. I thought I was gonna go for a red dress, but no, I think this is the one. I think it just gives me the right Phoenix vibes. Okay, now we're gonna edit our Theo's outfit and I'm thinking maybe we can give him like a red moment. You know what? This is big Theo energy. I think I'm gonna go for this one. I'm gonna switch up his shoes though. He's got like a dark brown belt. So I wanna make sure the shoes match. You look great, Theo. Mwah. Gorgeous. All right, they look great, beautiful. And I did download a wedding venue and we're absolutely gonna use that. And I think we're gonna do a 2 p.m. wedding. So that's set for tomorrow. All right, guys, so I went ahead off of camera and I went and met all of my nieces and nephews. I want to be able to have all of Minzy's grandkids in the same spot before she passes away. And my girl Ivy, she did get married to a Toby Rosenberg. So good for you, girl. Good for you. So everybody needs to get some sleep because it is the big wedding day today. So Minzy girl, go get some sleep. I need you to be A-OK -okay for tomorrow, honey. Dory is awake. She is very, very sleepy. Elliot is gonna put her to bed. Thank you, Elliot. Such a good dude. Good night, Dory. We love you. The fridge is broken, but I'm hoping that Elliot will go ahead and fix that for us. I am gonna start taking stuff out of Minzy's inventory before she goes. There's some pictures she has in here. Oh my goodness. Of her and Phoenix too. Oh my God. Of her and Ben. Okay. I'm going to have to put some of these up. I'm going to, I think, give all this stuff to Dory because she's going to be a little space queen. So I think I'm going to give her all of Minzy's sciencey stuff. That's Chouette's little grave. Okay. And then I think I'm just going to go ahead and sell all the rest of this stuff. Okay. Very good. And then I'm going to put all this space stuff <laughs> in Dory's inventory for when she becomes a little space explorer. There we go. Okay. I'm going to give Chouette's little urn to Phoenix because I think I want to make a cemetery eventually just to, so we can go, you know, visit the family every once in a while. And I'm going to give Phoenix all of these gifts as well. Phoenix, you are going to go ahead and take some personal time off, girl, because it is your wedding day. I love that she has pictures of her parents. Oh my God, I got to put one up. I got to put one somewhere. Where's a good spot for this here? How about... Oh, that's Ivy. Ivy and her. And then her parents right here. Oh, I love it. Okay, let's add a red frame to that girl. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, the family. So cute. All right, Phoenix, why don't you go ahead and grab some food? Get leftovers, but don't get electrocuted, okay? I'll clean all this up for you. How are we feeling, Minzy? You're doing great, girl. Dory, how are we doing? You need to have a little bit of fun. Put this in Phoenix's inventory as well. Yoink. Maybe we'll try to remember to get some good to get some good pictures today on the wedding day. Look at my sweet girl just having fun in this rocking chair. She is all about it. I'm gonna have Phoenix go have herself a jog before the old wedding day today. So she's gonna have a nice little jog before the big day. Put herself in a good place. Excuse me, raccoon. Thank you. She is smiling. She is flirty. She has all very positive moolets going on right now. So she knows this run is going to do her good. And then I think I will have her grab a nice bubble bath. Actually, let's go have a rose petal bath, girl. Put yourself in an even better place. And then you can grab the mail. Perfect. Dory, where are you, girly? How you doing? You're a little bit hungry. So you're doing okay. But maybe we'll see if grandma will give you some food. I think grandma's hungry though. So let grandma have her food first. First. These two are having a nice little bonding moment. We love that. Dory also needs a bath. So I'm gonna have Minzy go ahead and feed Dory. Let's give our sweet girl some uh, peanut butter and jelly. Phoenix is taking care of business. What a good mama. There you go, Dory. You're a stinky girl. So when you're done eating, we're gonna give you a bath, okay? Because we have a wedding in under two hours, girl. Minzy's long life is coming to an end. This would be a good time to get her affairs in order. Oh my God. Okay, Minzy, please don't die giving this girl a bath, please, okay? Oh God. 
Now I'm nervous. We're on the clock, Minz. Oh my God, Minzy's so cute. Look at her getting a good scrub in. Okay, she's clean just in the nick of time. Let's go to this wedding gang. Okay, we are here and these outfits are atrocious. So let me pause. Let me get everyone in their proper outfits. Like Hunter, what are you doing, bud? Where are all my nieces and nephews? Let's change your outfit. What do I have your formal set to? Okay, that is much better, buddy. That is much better. Jasper, WTF my dude. Let's give you your formal outfit. Much better. There you go. Minzy, you are wearing the dress I hoped you would wear. I love that. Okay. Everyone else looks really good, except you're missing an actual part of your torso. Okay. That must be your formal wear. Let me, uh, Okay, you know what? Let me just give you something that looks remotely. Why are you just missing part of your body? I don't, I don't understand. I don't want to go into cast because I don't want to screw this day up, but let me change my girl into her wedding gown. Oh my God, she is gorgeous. Okay, I do want to get some pictures, okay? I just, I feel like... I need to get some photos. Let's stick you there. Let's stick you here. Let's see if I can get a picture with mom. Oh my God, look at this. Okay, that's cute as heck, you guys. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna be taking screenshots all day long. Perfect. Let's see what other poses I can get out of these two. Oh God, it's cute. Ugh. let's do some excited poses. Oh, it's adorable. I I can't, I'm, I'm not ready for Minzy to go, you know? Oh, I like this one. Okay, you guys. Let's get this ceremony started. Please take your seats, everyone. Is everyone coming? Everyone's gonna sit on the, everyone's, oh, okay. I mean, sure, if you guys wanna go swim, cool. Where the hell is Theo? Theo, where are you? Oh, he's he's out in the bathroom. You got cold feet, buddy? Okay, can everybody please come take their seats? Okay, you know what? That's fine. I need Theo to get his butt over here. Are you coming, Theo? Okay, there they go. There they go. Come on, you two. All right, guys, here they come. It's wedding day. Here they go. Everyone's just in the fountains, you know, having a great time. Go ahead and exchange your vows. They can't get to the arch. Okay, you know what? Hang on. I got you. I got you. Okay, let's exchange our vows, please. Now I need to somehow leave this guy at the altar. And I gotta do it before they become married, okay? Let's see. I tried to download a mod to fix this, but I don't know if it's gonna work. She does have a little heartbreak sign up there. I still don't see it under there. Oh no, okay. So what I think I'm actually gonna do is just cancel the wedding ceremony mid-wedding and hopefully that stops it, okay. So that will be the equivalent of canceling that and then I'm gonna go to Theo and then I'm going to break up with him. And I think that'll be the way I have to do it. This has been a little bit of a hot mess. Minzy's just in her bathing suit. Theo is very clearly devastated. Okay, I'm very sorry, Theo. I'm young, we're young, we have our whole lives ahead of us. I'm very sorry. So that's done and done. Now, if you guys like this wedding venue, cause it's absolutely uh, stunning. Like, look at this, like, look, look at this. It is absolutely beautiful, you guys. So if you guys like this venue and you want to download it yourself, it's by Party Kiss on the gallery and it's absolutely stunning. So if you guys like it, I think you guys should go ahead and download it because it's absolutely beautiful. And there was so much work put into this. You can clearly see the detail is unreal. The builders are the unsung heroes of this game, you guys, because I don't have the patience to do all this so kudos to you thank you for the beautiful venue so we are here at the wedding we may as well you know serve some food here sorry to Theo go ahead and call everyone to come and grab some and I'm gonna put this camera back in my inventory Dory is very tired but I'm gonna have her grab some food Ivy looks really upset Maybe upset that I called off my wedding. She's like, girl, what are you doing? What are you doing with your life, Phoenix? And with that, you guys, I'm gonna send our girl back home. Off they go saying, you know what? You have a great dad. I love your dad, but this is not the right move. This is just not the way it's gotta go. You'll understand one day when you're a big girl, okay? She's gonna take her baby and go. Sorry, Theo. Nothing personal, bud, nothing personal. It's 11 p.m. and Minzy is feeling very tired. Dory absolutely needs to go to sleep. So Dory, why don't you go ahead and ask Elliot to put you to bed? Phoenix, you're also very 
tired, but you are literally not even that broken up about Theo. You're more flirty and tired than anything. So why don't you get some sleep, girl? Everyone go to bed. It's been an eventful day. Dory is awake. She had a nightmare. Oh, poor girl. I forgot to give her a defender light. I'll have to do that. Elliot's going to say, it's okay, honey. It's okay, honey. She wants to do some thinking. Okay, where's your iPad, honey? You can do that or you can just watch Elliot. You can ask for a story. Is he going to tell you his story? Oh, what a good dude. Look at Elliot. She has reached thinking level two. That's my good girl. Where are you guys going? Oh, you're going to go sit in Elliot's room. That's really wholesome and cute. Elliot is wholesome as heck, you guys. Only he would stay up at 3.30 in the morning to read to a grumpy baby. Okay, she's feeling so much better now. So let's have her get some potty help because she has to pee. So Elliot, why don't you take Dory to use the potty? My girl can now use the potty by herself. Good job, honey. Elliot is going to vacuum up the pee mess on the floor. I'm going to have Minzy feed Dory. She can have some yogurt for breakfast. Phoenix is awake and she is feeling pretty good. She's feeling so good from seeing Dory level up her skills. I love that. Phoenix, you got to go to work, girly. Grandma Minzy's got yogurt for you, honey, okay? You go ahead and eat, sweet girl. Oh, she's passed out in her chair. I'm going to get Elliot to put her to bed. Phoenix is off to work. Phoenix, have a great day, girl. Phoenix has the workers and businesses at their throat due to a citywide strike. Folks need to get back to work, but how does Phoenix handle the situation? She definitely strong arms. She did lose some support, but that's okay. My girl is fierce. She would absolutely strong arm. Minzy's gonna read to her little baby girl. Good night, Dory. Minzy is on death's doorstep and she is still trolling the forums like an absolute queen. She does need to shower though. She is getting a little stinky. So why don't you go ahead and have a nice relaxing bubble bath. <gasps> No, no, Minzy, no. <gasps> I'm not ready. Oh my God, Phoenix isn't even here. <gasps> no, 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 no. She literally died trolling the forums. She literally died doing what she loved. Oh no, my poor Minzy. No, no, Minzy. Oh my God. I've got no one here to plead for her either. Oh no. Minzy has died and given a portion of their household funds to their children. Did that get rid of all my all my millions though? Cause, okay, I'll have to check that in the footage. I think I should have way more money than that. There's no way I spent a million dollars already. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, okay. That's devastating. But you know what? At least she got to spend her last moments with her grandkids. See her last granddaughter be born. Oh, we knew it was coming guys, but I'm still never ready for it, you know? My poor girl is so sad. I'm gonna go have her mourn her grandma and have phoenix mourn her mom when she gets home oh i know you guys were best friends oh our matriarch is gone i'm sorry oh no oh dory needs a hug poor dory so sad i guess i gotta put another grave in the inventory we got sweat and we got minzy we'll have to go get ben's grave from the house and i think i'll make a cemetery off camera but oh no Oh, Ruby is devastated. Poor Ruby. Let's console her about mom's death. I'm sorry. Oh, Ivy is so sad. Let's talk to our sisters. Oh, no. Why don't you guys all watch a movie together? Minzy would want you guys to have some sibling time together. Dory is devastated. She is so upset, girl. Oh, she is so sad. Little Dory's gonna ask Elliot for some food. She is very, very, very hungry. Phoenix, let's Let's look at you, girl. Okay, you need one more boyfriend and girlfriend. And I'm pretty sure we had Kinley all set to ask out here. So let's invite Kinley over. She is feeling sad. She just broke up her marriage. She is not in a great place. She's having an emotional meltdown right now. Oh my God. Poor Phoenix. Oh, the berries are not in a great place right now, you guys. I have no idea where the hell Kinley is. Kinley is... Where are you, Kinley? There you are. Let's invite Kinley to stay the night. You know, Phoenix is not in a great place. I think she's gonna do some things that she regrets and ask her to be her girlfriend. So she is going to sleep over and they are gonna become girlfriends. 
beautiful. She does need to go on three dates, but my girl really, really, really has to pee. Okay, go on home, Phoenix. Dory, what you got going on, girl? You are tired. You're so sad about your grandma, but Elliot is trying so hard to cheer you up. What a good guy. Phoenix currently has the most tragic needs I've ever seen in my life. I'm gonna have her grab a pee and then absolutely take a shower. And our lovely, lovely sister, who we love and adore, is making one hell of a disturbance here. I can't even click on the apartment door. That's so annoying. So why don't you come grab some food, Phoenix? Is Dory going over there to be like, shut up, Aunt Ivy? Jesus. My little Dory is so tired. She keeps crying about her bestie. She misses her grandma. Aw. We invited Kinley to stay the night, but I honestly have no idea where she is. So... Phoenix, I got to get you to sleep, girl. You are wiped. Everyone is going to sleep. I am actually going to send Elliot to bed too because he is very tired. He has been working like crazy. Go ahead and go to bed, my buddy. Get some good sleep, my dude. So Phoenix has three days off and we need to secure four more votes and we need to go on three gold dates. So I think we will work on that over the weekend. Little Dory is up. Mama Phoenix is coming to say, hey girl, good morning. I know it's been a rough few days, honey. I know it's been a rough few days. She wants to work on her thinking skill. So why don't we go ahead and do flashcards with her? They can have a sweet little mother-daughter moment. This is just so wholesome and cute. Phoenix has reached parenting level three. We love that for you, Phoenix. You're doing great, girl. My little girl is so sad. She doesn't want to do cards anymore. So I'm going to have Phoenix change her diaper. Oh, Dory demanded food. So Dory gets what she wants, you know? Minzy spoiled her kids. So, you know, Phoenix is going to take a little page out of Minzy's book here. Enjoy your breakfast, my sweet Dory girl. Dory is very, very stinky. I'm going to have her ask Elliot for a bath. Phoenix is having some of mama's cooking for breakfast. Oh my God, my heart. She's like, what's this cleaning machine? What is this? Elliot, what is this thing? He's like, you're gonna find out today, girl, cause you stank. Let's get you all cleaned up, girly. There she goes, so cute. When is my little sweet girl's birthday? Three more days, okay. So Phoenix, your needs look really good, honey. So I'm gonna have you go out on a date with somebody here. And how about we do Kinley? Let's send her a text text and be like, hey, I'm feeling pretty good. You want to go have some fun today? She's confident from that. I agree. It's a great day. Let's go enjoy the day. Okay, so let's go out with her. I don't think this counts as a date. So I'll have to actually like ask her on a date when I get there, but that's fine. So this is considered a friend hangout. So I'm going to go ahead and go under the um, romance tab here and ask our girl on a date. Oh, we can't. We got to close this first. Okay, yes. And that early. Kinley, where'd you go, girl? There we go. Okay, now we can ask her on a date. Kinley, where the hell did you go? God damn it, Kinley. All right, let's ask this girl out on a date, please. I think we're gonna have them head to uh, this beautiful park here together. It is a beautiful fall rainy day and I don't know why Kinley has different hair. So I need to just hang on guys. I need to switch her up because that is not how I styled her. There we go. She looks very different. So we need to socialize, sit and talk and flirt. Okay, well, if there's anything that my girl can do, it's flirt. So we can flirt with her three times. She does have to pee. So let's just do a few of these things here. Phoenix knows how to flirt very, very well. I really like Kinley. We're just gonna lay all these flirts down. We need to give her a kiss. Okay, that's easy peasy. Let's lay it on her. Kiss in the rain. That is romantic as heck. Oh my God, why are my siblings here? What are my, why are all my siblings here? Why is my entire family here? Are they checking up on me? They know I'm in a bad place right now. But my girl's here just wanting to go into the vending machine. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Do your thing, Phoenix, do your thing. You have to pee anyway. We need to passionately kiss our date. I don't know where the hell Kinley went. Kinley, where are you, honey? You're hanging out with my brother. Okay, very cool, very cool. Oliver, what are you doing, buddy? So we need to sit and talk to our date a little bit more. Why don't we sit here together? Sit here together, okay? Come on, girlies. We need gold, we need gold. Come on now. Kinley, come sit with me. She's mad. She's like, why aren't you sitting with me? Sit together. Kinley, come sit. Thank you. All right, we need to joke around with you. So let's hit that funny tab. Let's tell a joke about penguins. Newton. 
Newt. We could joke about politicians. That's us. A little self-deprecation. We love that. Get over here, Phoenix. We gotta tell her one more funny joke, okay? Come on now. We're almost there. I know you're uncomfortable. It's starting to pour. Oh my God, this is bad. Okay, give her a smooch, girl. Kisses in the rain. I love it. We need to have a deep conversation. The date is almost done. These two girls are wet and cold and not in a great place. Who is sleeping on this bench? That's our bestie, Jamie, from high school. Okay, okay. Phoenix is so tired, but the date is literally coming to an end and then she can go home all right so we got gold on that date perfect so let's have her head home because she is miserable go get dry girl go get dry go get some sleep she did good she did good all right we are home so i'm gonna have my girl go to bed because she is wiped dory is having a moment she is having another cry about her grandma oh my god my poor baby i'm gonna have her come play with a toy maybe cheer her up a little bit my poor sweet baby she's gonna sit and play with chompy she's gonna try to take her mind off of Minzy's passing my poor angel oh she loves her toy what a sweet girl her communication skill is kind of low which i guess makes sense because she's a loner she doesn't really talk to people much but i mean her imagination being high is kind of it's kind of perfect but i think i might have her work on her communication i'm gonna have her watch some toddler videos just to get that skill up a little bit phoenix is trying to sleep but ivy is listening to very loud music again this girl loves her metal music which honestly can't blame you but when you're an apartment girl and it's after 11 you need to tone it down ivy really come on ivy come on ivy ivy no she's like you know what i'm sorry sister i'm so sorry now please go back to sleep phoenix and with that you guys i'm gonna leave this one here today thank you for hanging out with me as we play through more of phoenix's story phoenix had a big breakup she called off her wedding she lost her mom and she is just feeling some type of way right now so when we come back next episode we will really focus on getting her charisma maxed and we will focus on getting her promoted if you guys like today's video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below subscribe if you want to see more content from yours truly and hit that notification bell every time you want to be notified that i have uploaded a new video you guys have a wicked day wherever you're at and i will catch you next time